just another day at the Goodwill bins and it's a packed parking lot. It's a Friday, so it's during the day, not during the weekend, which we usually go on. It's during the week, so I thought it would've been a little less busy, I gotta say. With all the parked cars, you have to say, it's gonna be really busy, so a lot of competition again, but I think, I think we're gonna be in luck. We had like three to four bad trips in a row. This has to be a good day. And my god was I right, this was the best day we've had in quite some time and we found some of the stuff that I like to find more than anything else and that is 80s toys. I'm going to show you the entire clip because someone at the bins actually helps me out and I couldn't even believe it. They were helping me pick out all of the good toys out of this bin. That's why it's so important to make friends at the Goodwill bins and always treat people with respect because you will get respect in return. And with that being said, just enjoy this footage and enjoy all the 80s toys goodness. Superhero okay. stuff. Well, you're looking for that. Oh wow. You find anything like these? Can you collect them? LOL. For me? Yeah, yeah. I'll okay. be on look. LOL. I'll help you with that. Do you that. like Littlest Pet Shop stuff too? Uh, no. Okay. We have so many of those. Yeah. So you're looking for superheroes yeah. and He-Man. Yeah, like a He-Man figure. Okay, like so superheroes guy. and He-Man. Yeah. Is that anybody? <laughs> oh, that's hot. Beautiful, thank you. That's Martian Manhunter. Okay, right yeah. all right. I will. Uh, so yeah, superheroes, He-Man stuff. Oh, uh, no. You know what though? That actually might be 80s. Yeah, this is 80s. I think that too, right? Yeah. So this is mask. I think it might be mask. Okay. Well, yeah. If you can keep your eye out for those, I'll keep an eye out for you. Oh my God. At this point, I kept finding more and more He-Man and G.I. Joe action figures along with the DC Super Powers wave, which is one of my favorites to collect from that era. It is fantastic and I love their action features, which are a bit gimmicky, but I love them. And they're a definite testament to the really? time. There's no power to build. Squeeze them, they've got power action like Superman and Batman. Here comes Hawkman. Watch out for Brainiac's power action. And each comes with a mini comic. Uh, I got two little girls at home. These guys are broken, so you probably don't know. That might grab them anyways. You might find the bodies. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, yeah. So you know this is, right? I think that might be. You know this is? Is that from Kill Bill? No, that's April O'Neil. Oh, yes, that's right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> I thought it was the Kill Bill. Yeah, yeah. Girl. It does look a little bit like. Yeah. Yeah, it yeah, does. That's great. Oh, my God. That's the Superman cave. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. thank you so much. You're doing a better job than I am at finding the oh, stuff I that I need. Mean, this is what I this is what I go for. I always ask them, where's the toys? Where's the toys? Yeah. I think there's like CDs or something. If you would have been them. here, uh, the last four times I've been here, it was four. I know. Like, it was unbelievable. They had like I no toys. I was here on Sunday, last Sunday, because I come every Sunday, and yeah. they only brought out two rows of toys, and it was yeah. crap. Yep. It was That's nothing like, in it. You might even, I think I came on a Sunday as well. Yeah. So that was brutal. Yeah. You don't want the Smurfs? No, no. Smurfs? I've never really got into Smurfs too much. Yeah. Wait, look at the new stuff. What is going on? I don't know. How long has this been out here for? I don't know. I just got here too. Like literally, like the same time. I don't know. I've got any stuff yet, to be honest. I haven't really got a chance to look down there, but I'll keep my eye open for more. This seems to be crap. Yeah. Crap. I'll show you an entire haul breakdown at the end of this video because a lot of the 80s toys that I end up finding in these bins, I actually don't have on camera, so you'll see all of that at the end. Wow, some more pony stuff. This is wild. So if you guys were listening to that conversation, uh, that is just amazing. The fact 
that she let me grab all of those uh, He-Man figures and uh, those old 80s figures, Ninja Turtle figures. She was just interested in that little stuff. So if I do find some today, I'm definitely going to uh, look for her and grab them and and give them to her because uh, she really did help me out. And this is one of the things that is really cool about the Ben Summers. It makes some friends like that. And I'm definitely interested in maybe even exchanging contact information because I might have some little dolls at home. I could probably give her that. I actually haven't listed on a uh, or marketplace or anything like that. So really cool here. This is just uh, what a what a day so far. This has been incredible. So I just noticed this is GI Joe. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, so I'm definitely going to pick this up too. I'm going to have to double check it because there might be some really good stuff that I missed even when I was just having the conversation. Havoc. Nothing's too rough for Havoc! Look, Cobra Ferret! After him! Yo, Joe! Cobra's got to face much more than Havoc! It's pretty sweet. I found a uh, Venusaur Mega Construct. It looks to be complete in this Ziploc bag. It's not bad. It comes with the instructions and stuff. I mean, it's not as good as Lego, but it's Pokemon. It's a huge IP, so I think it's worth grabbing. And my wife found this beautiful jewelry pack. It's a little dirty. Yeah. I put it. I, I leave it in a bucket with water and the things to clean. Yeah. And then you should get not bad. Them. Yeah. Those are good. As the day progressed, there were some bins that did come out, but no more toy bins, unfortunately. So we were pretty much picking through the old bins, but we kept finding more and more stuff, which surprises me because it clearly shows that a lot of the people who do go to the bins, at least during the week, don't know too much about toys, not like the weekends. Yeah, I just found a Lego dinosaur here. I believe, yep, there was Lego on the feet, so pretty sweet. And uh, this isn't a bin that's been left here for like almost an hour, so pretty sweet. You're still finding things even after an hour. That means it's a good day at the bins. Also, I found this. This looks Super vintage. Uh, this is Christ Toys. Look at this thing. We found uh, this awesome Clone Trooper helmet in the bins here. Uh, look at it. Full helmet with actual electronic sounds and stuff. Watch. It's really cool. He's from Texans hat. Yeah, I don't buy too many hats, but I just love the fact that the World Series Champions 2017 on the back there. So it's a few years old. That needs a clean for sure, but. This could probably fetch us around 20 to 30 dollars. So here's our cart filled to the brim. I'm guessing about 20 pounds? I don't know, probably 18. Still, that'll be like 28 bucks. Not bad. Oh, 23. Oh my God, that's the most we've ever had at the bins. Okay, so I'm not gonna show you everything I have here because I'm gonna have to do a lot of digging. I will show you most of the toys at home, but I'll still show you some right now. But let's start off with the hats that we ended up picking up today, Batman hat. I don't know if I actually got this on camera, but this is just for me. I just love the old Batman logo on the back there. Uh, we also got a Blue Jays hat as well. They all need to be cleaned. And a nice Houston Texans hat here. It's got the World Series Champions. A little uh, stamp on the side there. I love that, like the embroidered feel there. And then I got this because I thought it'd be interesting for the guest room to have a bunch of comic book covers uh, as a duvet, uh, as like a cover up for their blankets. Keep a little warmer in the wintertime if we get any visitors in the winter, which I don't know if we're gonna get a lot of winter visitors to be honest in Calgary. And then we end up grabbing this nice case for, uh, I think this is either for Hot Wheels or action figures. Uh, you can actually open it up right here, I believe. Oh, there you go. My wife's helped me out. <laughs> so yeah, pretty cool, right? Uh, it's like a travel 1997. case. 1997. Not bad, so it's not super vintage, but it's definitely a bit retro there. So I do like that. Uh, let's just keep that to the side. Uh, really, really cool helmet here. Beautiful Clone Trooper helmet that actually does have a working. Come on, how cool is that? Just hearing that. Destroy the Sith. Yes. Destroy the Sith, we must. There we go. I thought Yoda said that. Does he say that too? I feel like that's something Yoda said. So, the yeah, old Fisher Price uh, toy here, Polly Wally, uh, Roly Poly, it's called. Tons of He Man figures. Unbelievable here. And then, obviously, we always find My Little Pony stuff. And we also found a Fun Dike just to go with the 80s theme today. Uh, I think it's missing a few pieces here, but not bad. Even just this on its own might be able to sell. This is just really cool looking. Um, we have a ton of just 80s figures here. Uh, DC superheroes figures, and they always have these cool functions. This one's kind of cheesy. So Robin, he chops here. Uh, we got Superman, I think he just punches. He looks like he's running though, more than anything else. He's gotta run really fast. So just unbelievable. I'm gonna show you all the stuff that we have. April O'Neil, obviously, just so many 80s toys I'm gonna show you once we get home. I am honestly thrilled with the pickup we had today. Probably, maybe, dare I say it, the best haul we've ever had at the Goodwill Benz.
Welcome back to the toy room. Okay, let's go over the haul we had today. Now this Clone Trooper helmet actually sells for a lot more than I even thought. Close to $60 to $70. Sometimes more if it's even in better condition, but it does even light up at the top here. So as you can see, the red light goes on. It speaks as well. So really, really cool. Now these DC Superpower figures all sell between like 10 on the low end to about 50 plus dollars. The Batman looks to be the most expensive because it is complete with his cape. And then a uh, dark side is also a little bit pricey. Uh, Firestorm as well. I think he's around $50. Fantastic. A ton of GI Joe figures that go with some of the play sets that we have here that I'll show you in just a second. Now, um, this pony right here is representing the entire bag filled of ponies there. We probably have at least 15 ponies that we were able to get today, which is wild. Some Lego there in that bag, and then this figure here sells around $15 on eBay. Some uh, old 90s Happy Meal toys, and there's just some pieces here for either Tonka sets or possibly G.I. Joe sets. Now this roly-poly I showed you guys outside sells for around like 10 to 15, actually not that much. This Pacific Rim figure here sells for around $30. This GoBot, really cool, made by Bandai before Hasbro got the rights to Transformers, sells for around 20 to $25. Now all of these He-Man figures sell uh, around 10 to about $30 each. Some of them are a little more complete than others. Uh, this is uh, the most complete. It's still missing, I think, a shield, but nonetheless, this was a fantastic find for all of these vintage 80s He-Man figures. I love this. And you know what's also kind of serendipitous? Like, talk about Forces of the Universe. We literally just, a week ago, signed up for a coming up toy show. It's a retro toy show, so that means 80s, and that's going to be in a week or so from now. So the fact that we're getting all of these 80s toys just in time for that is kind of serendipitous, it's wild. And right here is just a bunch of miscellaneous 80s figures, uh, all between like 10 to $30. I really love this Star Wars one here, it's called Squid Head. Just love it. It's actually not 100% complete. It's missing a little belt piece there. But really, really cool, that G.I. Joe set there. It's uh, almost complete, sells around 20 to $30 in that condition. Uh, might be able to get more at like a toy show if you have like some hardcore collectors come out. And we have uh, this Marvel Legend as well. Not crazy valuable, this is just going right into my collection because I do collect Marvel Legends as you guys can see here. So really, really cool. This is newer, I think from the uh, Disney Plus series. Anyways guys, oh my God, I am blown away by the haul today. Let me know what you think about this down below in the comment section. I think it might be the best haul we've ever had. We spent $31 total and I'm guessing that the value of everything we have here and plus in that bag is probably between $400 to $600 in value, maybe even $700 would really stretch it out. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, leave a like down below and remember guys, may your carts always be full.